Hello, uh, my name is Peter Block and I'm a teacher from Northern Secondary School. I'd like to show you a uh, demonstration for equilibrium involving the uh, cobalt chloride system. As you know, cobalt chloride is a uh, pink solid and when dissolved in water, it uh, gives us this nice pink color. Okay, so let's look at the uh, equation here. You can see that the cobalt surrounded by uh, water is, is, is gives us the pink color. And according to Le Chatelier's principle, in this equilibrium, if we add uh, chloride in the form of either HCl or KCl, we should get a shift to the blue color. So let's try each one. Adding concentrated um, hydrochloric acid, I'm adding quite a bit of hydro, a concentrated hydrochloric acid and notice that uh, it's still pink. It's not shifting over to the blue. There's sometimes a hint of blue and then it just disappears. So this doesn't seem to be working. Why don't we try potassium chloride as our, our source of chloride ion? So here it is and you can see it on the bottom. This I've had this for a few years now and uh, We've, this is saturated with potassium chloride with excess at the bottom and it still is pink and hasn't shifted to the blue. So here's an interesting case where our prediction by Le Chatelier's principle to cause the shift somehow is not working. So do we have a problem with uh, Le Chatelier's principle here? Well, we don't. We can get this to work uh, by a method that I'm going to show you in part three uh, and then come and come back to it and solve that problem. Now let's look at this equation again and notice that it is an endothermic reaction going from left to right. So therefore by Le Chatelier's principle if we add heat to the system we should shift it to the right and get the uh, the, the blue color. Uh, let's let's try it. So this one has the potassium chloride in it, saturated. There's the beginnings of a shift. If you hear the uh, bumping due to uh, the um, uh, boiling, just take it out of the take it out of the flame momentarily so it cools down. Uh, we've got the purple. And here we're coming to that nice blue color that's typical of the uh, tetrachloro uh, cobalt complex. Now the shift backwards is due to uh, removing the heat, so I'll do that by putting this into some uh, ice water just to speed things up. Okay, we can leave this sitting and then come back to it. So here, after some minutes, we have a nice return to the uh, pink, uh, pink color. Now here is an interesting solution to our problem in the first uh, demonstration. Instead of dissolving the cobalt chloride in water, we dissolve it in alcohol. And by doing that, we get a nice uh, blue color, which you will see, and presumably the, the, the alcohol will remove this small amount of water by hydrogen bonding and allowing the chloride ions to surround the cobalt giving us this nice blue color. According to Le Chatelier's principle now if we add water we'll shift the equilibrium to the right to get the pink color and by adding chloride ion we'll shift it back to the left to get the blue version. Let's see what happens. Uh, here I have 95% alcohol and I'm going to put the, uh, the solid cobalt chloride in here and you can see how quickly it uh, dissolves and not only that, that look at the, the beautiful bl deep blue color that is formed here. This deep blue color is often referred to as cobalt blue when you see it in vases. So adding some water. You 
can see the shift occurring now to the pink. And this is how we solve the problem in the first case. We're starting with pink in both cases. This is the water solution, don't start with this. This is the alcohol solution, start with this. Now, if we add some uh, chloride ion uh, in the form of hydrochloric acid, I've got a little bit of it here, we will see the shift going right back again. All right, so there is um, my offering for uh, the cobalt chloride system in illustrating uh, shifts um, in equilibrium. Thank you.